In this video, I will show you how to set up a Christmas or other holiday gift planner, and we're going to do it in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel, and let's say there are four members of my family that uh, need some presents. I would like to set up this planner to help me track and budget for those gifts. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the lower left corner where it says Sheet 1, and I'm just going to double click to highlight what's there, and I'm going to put in the name of the first person that I'm buying for, and this is going to be Ralphie. So I type that in, tap Enter, and now I have a tab called Ralphie. Now let's set up the spreadsheet to track the gifts. So here at the top, I'm going to type in A1, and I'll just put Ralphie's name again. And then I'll click and drag from A1 all the way to E1. And then I could go up here to the Home tab in the Alignment group. I could choose Merge and Center. But even better than Merge and Center is something called Center Across Selection. So I'm going to click on this button here. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on the Alignment tab here. And I'll go to Horizontal General. And I'll change it to Center Across Selection. Click OK. And now that Ralphie's name is at the top, I'm going to click on A2, and I'll type in the word gift. And then I'll tap tab to move over to B2. And on B2, I'll type cost. I'll tab over, type purchased, tab over, received, tab over, and I might even add wrapped. And then I can tab over again or tap enter either way. So this is the information that I want to track. Now I could spend a little time making this look a little nicer. So I could click and drag to highlight A1 through let's say E15. I'll release the mouse button. And then I could go here to the Home tab in the Font group. There's this little tool here to indicate what borders I want to be visible. So how about all borders? I think that looks pretty good. If I want to, I could highlight it again and choose to make thick outside borders. And to make that more visible, I may want to insert another column to the left of column A. So I could just right click here on A, choose Insert, and then I could also right click on 1 and choose Insert. So now you can see better that it's got a bold outline around the selection. If I want to, I can shrink row number 1 so that it's very small. And column A, I could do the same thing to shrink that down. So I think that looks really good. Next, you can see that these words are kind of squished together. So I'm going to double click between columns D and E. And that's going to space it perfectly. I may want to click and drag to highlight Ralphie and the different column headings. And then I could click here on bold to make those bold. I may want to select B3 through F3 and make sure that those are centered. And it may be a good idea to click and drag from B2 through F3 and then put in a fill color just to make sure that that information stands out a little bit from the rest of the information in this spreadsheet. Maybe I'll go with green. And now the spreadsheet is set up so that I can type in the gifts that I'm purchasing, the costs, and all of this other information. Now because I'm making this in Excel, there's so much more potential for what we could do with this information. Probably the most important thing, in my opinion, to add to this spreadsheet at this point would be a budget and the amount of money spent versus the amount of money left to be spent. So let's set that up. I'm going to click here on H3. And I'll type budget, and I'll put in a colon. I'll tap enter. I'll type remaining, tap enter. I'll type in spent, colon, tap enter. And then finally, I'll end with total items. Tap enter. Now there's some things I need to clean up about this information. First, I'm going to double click between H and I, and it'll space this column perfectly. Next, I need to decide, do I want the same formatting here as I have here? I don't think I do. So I'm going to click on H3, and I'm going to set the fill to be no fill. I do want the rest of these cells to be bolded, so I'll make sure that those are all bolded. And then I'll click and drag to highlight H3 through H6. I'm going to change the alignment to be align right for all four of these items. Next, I'm going to click and drag on I3 all the way through I6. And then I'm going to set that to be bolded as well. Even though there's no text there, no numbers, I still want it to be set up to be bolded. And finally, I'm going to click and drag to highlight H3 through I6. And then I'm going to put a thick outside border on that range. 
Okay, now we need to put in the formulas to make this range of information and these cells work for us. For example, here in spent on I5, I'm gonna click and I'll type equals. I want this cell to be equal to the sum. So I type in sum, I put in my left parenthesis, and I want it to be the sum of everything here in column C, the costs of the items I'm purchasing. So I'm gonna click and hold the click on C4 and I'll drag all the way down to C16. Let's look over here at my formula. I can't see it very well, so I'm gonna go here to the formula bar to see the formula. I really should put in my right parenthesis. In this case, it's not totally necessary, but that's okay. I'll tap enter and I've spent zero dollars so far on poor Ralphie. Next, I wanna figure out how much money is remaining in my budget for Ralphie. To do that, I'll select I4, I'll type equals, and the amount of money remaining is calculated by taking the budgeted amount, so I3, and I'll just click on I3, and subtracting the spent amount, so I'll click on I5. Tap enter, I have zero dollars remaining, zero dollars spent. Next, let's look at total items. How would I calculate the total number of gifts purchased for Ralphie? A good way to do that is to click, in this case, on I6 and type equals count A. What does the count A function do? It counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So I'm gonna put in my left parenthesis, and I could select probably a couple of these columns, but I'm gonna go with column B. So I'll click and hold the click on B4 and drag down to B16, tap enter on the keyboard, and now Excel will count how many of the cells in column B have something in them, some sort of gift. It will be counted up as an item. Okay, so at this point, my Christmas gift planner is ready to be used, at least for Ralphie. Now, I do want to add a couple of enhancements in a couple of minutes, and I'll do that soon. But even right now, let's look at how this Christmas gift planner could work to help me organize my purchases for Ralphie. So I'm going to go here to I3, and I'll click, and I'll type in a budget. Let's say I'm planning to spend $250 on Ralphie. I tap enter on the keyboard, and look, my formula updates. I know I have $250 remaining, but let's go in and put in our first gift. Let's say I buy a plush bunny for Ralphie. I type it in, I'll tap tab to move over, and let's say it costs me $17.35. I type it in, I tab over, and my formulas update. I've spent this amount, this is how much is remaining, and I have one total item for Ralphie. Now in column D, I can mark that this has been purchased, let's say by putting an X in column D, and if it was purchased online, I may need to wait for it to be received. So I'll put an X in received as well, once it's been received, and then I'll tab over. Once it's wrapped, I can put an X in wrapped. Now again, let's clean this up a bit. I would like to, first of all, center these X's. So I'm gonna click and drag from D4 all the way down to F16. With that range selected, I'm gonna go to the Home tab, Alignment Group, and click Center. I think that looks a little better. I'm also going to click on column C, the entire column, and in the number group, I'm gonna change it from general to accounting formatting. So now we can see that that is dollars. And of course, I could do the same thing here with this range, just by clicking and dragging and selecting the dollar sign to turn it to accounting mode. Okay, there's one other enhancement I want to make here to the spreadsheet. I want to set up some conditional formatting for this information. So I'm gonna click and drag to select D4 through F16, and then I'll go to the Home tab in the Styles group, I'll click on Conditional Formatting, and Highlight Cells Rules, and I'm gonna choose Text That Contains. And I want to say that if a cell in that range contains an X, I want it to be filled with a green fill with dark green text. So I select that, click OK, and now anytime I enter another gift into the spreadsheet and I put in the cost, tab over, and I put in that it's been purchased, notice what happens. I get a light green fill with dark green text. And notice that my remaining money and the amount spent and the total items are all updated. 
At this point, I could set it up so that when the remaining amount reaches zero or lower, it turns red. So let's try that. I'll click here on I4, and I'll go again to the Styles group on the Home tab and Ribbon. There it is, Conditional Formatting. Once again, I'm going to go to Highlight Cells Rules, but this time I'm going to choose less than, and I'll just type the number 0 0.01. So less than one cent left, then I want it to show up with light red fill with dark red text. I click OK. Now let's add the third gift for Ralphie. Let's say he's going to get some smart glasses. Again, I'll double click between B and C. Let's say this costs $300. I tab over and it's been purchased but not received or wrapped. And notice what happened over here. The remaining amount shows up in dark red text and light red fill because I've exceeded the budget for Ralphie. Okay, I feel like this Christmas gift planner is working great and it's all set for Ralphie. But what about his brother Randy? What we can do for Randy is just right click on the existing spreadsheet tab and choose move or copy. I want to create a copy of Ralphie and I'll move it to the end. I click OK. So now I have Ralphie 2, but if I double click there, I can change it to Randy, tap enter, and then I could double click here and go over and change this from Ralphie to Randy. I could also clear out the gifts that were purchased for Ralphie, not Randy. So with that highlighted, I'm gonna go here to the editing group and I'll choose this button here, clear and clear contents. And now the spreadsheet is ready for Randy. I'll do the same two more times. I'll move or copy, move to the end, create a copy, and I'll do that one more time. Move or copy, move to the end, create a copy, click OK. And then I can simply double click to name this spreadsheet tab Mother Parker, and then I'll double click on Randy to rename this tab as Old Man Parker. Tap Enter, and of course I would need to change the name up here as well. And it is a little tricky to change the names here. Don't double click here. Double click where you typed Ralphie to begin with, which was B2, I believe. Then I get a flashing cursor and I can click and drag and replace Randy in this case with Old Man Parker. Okay, so that quickly, I've set up a functional Christmas gift planner for a family of four. I can go to File, I can choose Save As, and save this to my computer for sure. I'll browse and I'll go to my downloads folder in this case, and I'm gonna save this as Christmas Gift Planner, and I'll put the year there, click Save. So that's saved to my computer to be used, but I could also go to File, and I could choose Share, and notice what happens. If I want to share this workbook with another person, and we can work on this Christmas Gift Planner together, I first have to upload it somewhere. So I'm gonna upload it to my personal OneDrive. I select it, and now this workbook is being uploaded to my OneDrive account. Notice that it's set so that anyone with the link can edit it, and I can just copy this link, and then anyone that I send that link to, they will be able to help me edit this gift planner. Another option when you share is you could add a specific person by typing in their email address here and then sending them a message saying, let's work on this workbook together. So that's an exciting option if you're working as a team to buy your Christmas or other holiday gifts. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. Look for the join button below my videos and consider joining us as a channel member. You could also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.